I'm no, not, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't no, no. We're saying we're not we're all in, like that. No, 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 we're saying it happens all the time, but guys don't know about it. So to protect yourself, don't fall for that trap. All right, all right. Hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> we literally just asked the panel of women. Hey, have you ever been out on a date with a man that you had zero intention of having sex with, and all of you said yes? Mm. Yeah, but, but why do you have to do it online? No, 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 no. Why do you think? Okay, this was actually one of the things that she said that she didn't like about dating. That you have all these expectations. Why should I allow you in my body for some food? Okay, Literally. it's Hold a on. chance to get to the know you minimum. and share cool. energy. <laughs> not even, not like, even. But it's like not most not girls are on their defense because I know you just want to fuck me, and once you fuck, you usually lose interest. Okay, so allow me to get to know you first. Why is that so fucking crazy? No, yeah, because crazy. here's the thing. Here's the thing. The reason why it's so crazy is because women feel entitled to a man's time, attention, and resources. And what I'm saying is- Not when he's willing cool. to freely give it. Uh, well, that's why we have podcasts like this. Sex? Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Yes. That's why podcasts like this exist, so we don't get guys that are stupid and realize their yep. value that, yo, we're not going to let women leverage sex against us no more. Fuck that. Yeah. Like, y'all want to hang out? We want some something in, uh, in return. The thing is, is that we've gone way too long yes. with chicks finessing dudes, taking them out on dates, making them pay, having them get on phone calls with them, spending all this, giving all this free attention, and we're simply telling guys, listen, man, women want attention. You want sex. You need to start being smart about your attention and not giving it away for free and letting these girls feel that they can just finesse you for your time and attention. That's what we're teaching, guys. That's cool. Your body, your choice. My money, my time, my choice. So it's a privilege to have your time and affection. Absolutely. Yep. So Absolutely. then get to know the get person a little more. Because the, we're the going thing is this. Just we're just be going through this. The thing is this. We, we live in a world, real talk, we live in a world where most women don't respect most men. I'm going to say that again. Most women don't respect most men. I think it's the men. other way yeah. around. It's, it's the other way around. Really? really? Way yeah. the other way around. I'm sorry. I've been in long relationships my whole entire life. And I'm seeing. Because just because. All right. Yeah, you want something? Daniel, no, 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 no. One out of time. One out of time. So, so when it comes to like dating, I I believe that a girl shouldn't give herself like super fast, yeah. but not like take too long either. You know, like the guy, like at the end of the day, if a guy loses interest in you, is because he didn't. You're literally interest. boring as fuck. Besides, like yeah. all you have to mm -hmm. offer is sex. Yeah, you know, That's like facts. You so if you have more to offer than sex, even if you like say you sleep with him in the fifth date, he's still gonna be interested in you. Well, here's here's and the point the I'm trying the day, to make. You want to stay high value. I believe I heard you say that a, a man is high value because he gets a lot of sex, but a woman is not high value when she gets a lot of sex. Yeah. So at the same time, we have to no, like, you have uh, to respect what me. What I said was what I said was a high value everything. woman does not exist by herself. That's what I said. What, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. like 2020. <laughs> Girl, you grow up hard, baby. No, 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 no. Please explain yourself. But at the end of the day, all women, I don't give a fuck what any of you say. We all want the same things. We want to be wifey to somebody, to like take stability, care of us. Like, stability, stability. Like, like, cook, you can be a boss, man. bitch, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I make tons of money, that's stability. fine, but I still want somebody to take care of me. Like, the, the reality is this. That's that. not what I need. I don't need it. I can take care of myself. Yeah, but that's Yo. fine. But deep down, we all want that. We all want that marriage, want having exactly. kids. Like, yeah. Yeah. One at a time, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Can we ask each other why we each need a man? Like, why? I don't need no because man. I want the man. I, I love a man. I don't like a man. I want a man. I love a woman. I love to feel that I'm a man. Question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the yeah. gentleman. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna finish the reaction, and then yeah. I will tell you guys why high value woman doesn't exist and why men shouldn't oh. be sitting here what? taking you guys uh -huh. out. You said high value woman doesn't exist. Okay, and then I'll tell you why you're wrong. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, 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 hey. I knew. If you guys want to get triggered, that's fine. But what I'm saying is this, and I stand on it. There is no such thing as a high value woman by herself. Period. And I'll talk about it after the fact. But with that said, um, we're going to continue on with the reaction here, and then I'll Thank explain you. the high value woman thing, and then I'll also talk about um, why men shouldn't be taking girls out on multiple dates and letting them finesse them. So, Ronnie, uh, what's thoughts uh, on the video? Uh, I mean, for me, bro, that's just like bum shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like on the girls, and like, I wouldn't even like be with a girl that I feel like is like on that shit, you know? I think just, mm -hmm. I don't know, shit, shit. I, I just that was like some loser movie. shit, bro. And it's like drama. It's just like this too much. That's wild, bro. <laughs> that shit's like that's fucking liar. <laughs> Are you Daniela? Oh, I I thought the video was pretty fucked up. <laughs> I mean, like, like part of me is like, damn. I mean, if I was a guy, I would fucking do the same thing to her. <laughs> like her. at least I'm both of it. like be smart about it if you're gonna do it that way. I don't know. I mean, all right. And next, what what your thoughts on the video? Miss Red here. Oh, me? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, 
I I don't even I don't even know how to talk about this because I wouldn't even like I'm very private with my life. Nobody needs to know anything. I think that is petty. That is ridiculous. That is like the most. I I don't I have no words. I just wouldn't. I can't even picture myself in a situation like this because it's not acceptable. Okay. No comments. <laughs> Maya. <laughs> okay, just hear me out. But I think first of all, it was very disrespectful because in that man's head, he was probably thinking like, I have a chance with this girl. I could get to know her. Mm. And here she is clowning him on her story, acting all like big and bad, whatever. But again, like if you're gonna play the g- nasty game like that, don't fucking like make a big deal about it and don't embarrass him. Like. Keep that shit private. Keep that shit to yourself. If he wants to take you out and spend mad money on you, fine. Keep that to yourself. But why you got to sit there and embarrass him? It was just mad disrespectful. She deserved to have that bill. And it's like, if she doesn't know how to play the game right. That's mm-hmm. it. Like, if you're going to play the game, at least be respectful. But like, okay, it's just rude. I thought it was low of her to post that and she got what she deserved. Yes, I think it was very low. Yeah, very low. Okay. So we've got everyone's take on the video. So Maya wants to uh, explain basically high, uh, high value women. Well, um, did the guys have anything else that they wanted to say before I get into this? Really, like that's just bum shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, like there's no comment about this yeah. subject. He should have been more like... selective about who he took to dinner. Exactly. It's like I need a wild I mean, out. Yeah. Why you on him? That's his. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, a, that's a good point. That nigga's like, a loser. That, that's that's <laughs> why. Like, that's why I said it's like yo, bro. Like you could. You, she should have been smarter. Like. He could have done something day, every stupid. <laughs> he could have done something like some very, very simple, simple and very and find out her personality yeah. really first, quick. Like, like, he could have told her to come to the crib. Like for nigga. example, right? Yeah. For me personally, oh, then get I'll face, face time a chick first, <laughs> get to feel her out, take her for some drinks, maybe to a cool spot, and then go to dinner. I'm not going to dinner off rip because that's like I don't know her, the, the chick yet. I got to feel her out first. So DoorDash, <laughs> <laughs> smooth. Uh, nice. But he want to add to that. Oh. All right, so I took some notes um, because I knew this was going to come up. I knew girls, the girls were going to get mad at me for saying this. <laughs> but um, just to answer the first thing, like, yeah, guys should not be taking girls out on multiple dates. And, you know, just like you guys want attention and time from a guy, like he should have his needs, too. It's just that we live in a world where a man's needs aren't respected or validated, whereas a woman's needs are prioritized over that. Like he should wait and all this extra stuff. It's like, no, he shouldn't have to wait if he because here's the thing. How many of you guys have had a one night stand? I have never. Believe it or not, I have never. I have been in two relationships for six okay. years. And you know what? I have never, yeah. I have never had another one night stand. Okay. I, I know swear on my mother's life. I have never had Okay. All right. Congratulations. You haven't had a one night stand. But <laughs> so, okay. you have had sex with men on the first date or the first time you met them. So, yeah, exactly. I saw that eye roll. But not a one night stand, just meeting. So here's the point, I ladies. I uh, wish I'm going to do it soon. Okay. <laughs> I'm let's go. Now, so it's gonna all happen. right, ladies, let's go into a dream world, okay? Let's, I need all of you <laughs> to go into this dream world with me. Let's imagine, okay? <laughs> Because I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break this down for you guys, all right? So let's say you go to the Louis Vuitton store, right? And you're like, yo, I saved up this money. I got ten thousand. I'm gonna get this fucking bag. I've been waiting forever for it. I'm gonna go get the bag, right? You walk in the store, the receptionist there, beautiful sunny day. You see the bag, ten thousand, you're like, Yep, I got eleven thousand, I could fucking do this shit. You buy the bag, you walk out, right? You get home, you're mad excited. You're like, yeah, I'm about to go to Tulum. I'm about to show out and all these broke bitches. Yeah, it's lit. <laughs> and then your friend texts you. Hey, girl, I saw you bought that bag from Louis Vuitton. Oh, my God, I got it too. Really? What the? <laughs> Where'd you get yours? Oh, I got it from the same store. Oh, okay. How much you pay for it? Oh, I paid 5000 Oh, really? What the fuck? So what are y'all going to do? This is some bullshit. You're going to go back to Louis Vuitton store with your receipt, right? Try to get that money back, right? Mm. So you go back to Louis Vuitton store. And then you go to the receptionist, you say, hey, I paid 10000 for this bag, but my friend bought it for five. Here's the receipt. I want my fucking 5000 The reception looks. The receptionist looks you dead in your face and tells you, no, that's your price. And you're like, what the fuck? Then you look to the left and you see another girl get it for 1000 See another girl get it for free. See another girl pay for 500 <laughs> See another girl pay 12000 for it. You're like, what the fuck? This is bullshit. How does that make you feel? Like shit, scammed, discriminated. Scammed. <laughs> I mean, scammed. I feel like you shouldn't pocket watch. Okay. Unfair. Try it, play it. Yep. Oh, scammed. Returning it. Returning it, right? <laughs> okay. That's exactly how men feel when you take them out on 10 fucking dates and don't smash them because he knows damn well in the back of his but mind that you fuck other guys purse. for far less. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we're not a purse. Hold on, hold on. I am not a purse. <laughs> I am not an object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Which is how no. you are trying to paint the picture. Okay, look, look. Let, it, let me talk, man. One at a time. Like, yo, 
the point is what you guys don't understand is that men look at the world logically. We look at it time, money, Logic time, money. All right. So whether women want to accept it or not, women look at men as resource creators, right? And women are resource extractors. So men understand that they got to pay the price to, to, to deal with girls, whether it's time, money, whatever it is. No guy wants to pay full price for something that other guys got for free. That's why a lot of guys don't like taking out Insecurity. girls on mo no it's not insecure it's, it's yeah, actually yep. intelligence it's not insecure don't it's compare yourself to any other guy mm -hmm. yeah don't compare yourself to another guy yeah. no because why am i paying full price every situation is different, different. but no. what kind of woman let are you let getting me finish. Let, me finish. Let, me finish. let me finish you guys are speaking from your feelings and i'm telling you the male perspective you can't argue me on this because this is how men view the world why are we going to pay full price for something I don't think you that you got for free men. someone else got for free or someone else paid less for. That's are you getting a high value it. women or are you getting like a little? But how do they know all this? Are they going yeah. out like a. Uh, you yeah, can tell, that a you can tell that from a woman's knows. mannerisms and the way she conveys herself. If, if, if you could tell just like if she, she is I don't how know, she carries herself, that, you could tell if she's yeah, worthy. Men so, are very like <laughs> visual. So sometimes they, they go out with a bad bitch and she is cannot bring nothing to the table. Okay. And you have somebody that might be maybe a little more mediocre looking in the eyes of the media, but she's like a real ass one and you want to do so much for her just because of how you feel about her, that how she makes you All feel. Right. Again, once again, ladies, 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 how many of you are men? Okay, exactly. <laughs> and then how many of you dated women as a man? Oh, okay, exactly. So who what I'm trying to say, what yeah, I'm trying to say is this. <laughs> who broke your heart? Yeah, this is, real, no, huh? it's not about who broke Damn my heart. Feelings. Yo, 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 yeah. let me finish. The comment, the, the point I'm trying to make here is the reason why men have issues with taking girls out on multiple dates and or spending a lot of time is because they know in the back of their mind that someone got this for free or for a lower price than they, they did. That's why guys don't wife up hoes. I'm going to say that again. The reason why dudes don't wife up hoes is because they don't want to full, play full price for a vehicle with high mileage. <laughs> You guys don't have to like it. I'm just telling you the truth of how That's men That's why operate. you don't fuck everybody on dinner. You know what I'm saying? That's why you keep your mileage We're low. Okay, right. well, it that's sounds... fine. You could say you could keep your mileage low, but I'm still telling you what men, how men operate. We don't want to pay full price for that Louis Vuitton bag when we know our friend got it for 5000 I feel like it's a contradiction. That's just you want to yeah. fuck you because you want... you're like, oh, I took you to dinner, mm -hmm. so I deserve right. to fuck. But then at the same time, you're going to talk shit on the bitch that fucks everybody on the first night. Well, here's no, the thing. No, no. It depends on the girl. Look, yeah. I'm not I'm not going to take uh, like a 30 plus year old on multiple dates when I know she's been fucking. There's a difference. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A younger girl that listen, has less mileage, listen. she's going to get different know, treatment. You don't know what the it, mileage is of any age. Yeah, you have no yeah. idea. Yeah. 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 You don't know. And also, okay. no one's talking shit about the girl after. I, it doesn't have to be the first <clears> date. <throat> we're just saying, look, if I take you out, at least have some interest in me. That's all we're saying. 100%. Don't waste my time. I feel like you guys, your experience is 